What's up guys, it's Dreamy Jeans and I'm back with another goddamn banger. Today what I'm going to teach you is how to save your projects on an external drive on Final Cut. So the first step is obviously to have a, you know, an external drive. Um, once you have that external drive, which you need to do. Um, so I have two different projects projects right here. I have July and I have this other one that's that is kind of named itself. So what you need to do so you can save that project is open up Finder and then hit Control Shift H. Control Shift H will bring up your user. If you don't see this right here, you don't see that right there, then just hit Command Shift H and it'll bring up this right here. Next up is we're gonna go to Movies and we got our projects right here. So let me go ahead and close Final Cut and let me go ahead and drag this one out right here. Boom. So I have this dragged out and put it in my external hard drive. Boom. So I have that in my external hard drive and now we got a copy. We have a copy of my story, I mean, excuse me, my timeline, my projects and all my files. Now, the reason why this says three megabytes is because I don't save my footage on my, on my library. If you did, uh, this would be way bigger and then you can just plug in, plug and play. If you do not have your footage saved to the library, then you will have to bring your hard drive with you wherever you go to have that footage with you and relink it. Now, just to show you that this does work, let me go ahead and delete this. Let me go ahead and delete this. I, I, I'm gonna be risky. I'm gonna be risky. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Oh, I guess it already kind of deleted itself. So let's go ahead and close this. Sweet. So it already deleted itself. All right. So since you have that safe project, open up Mac, click on this. And boom, now we got our project back. And as you see, I deleted it at first and all I did was go to my hard drive and click on that. Okay. So and I have all my footage there. And the reason why I have all my footage there is because these other three drives are hooked up to Final Cut. So since the files are there and Final Cut can find those files, it won't be a big deal. Again, if you don't have the external hard drives and all the footage goes to your library, that's all you have to do. Hit Command Shift H, go to, to, go to Movies, then drag your projects until into an external hard drive. Now, if you wanna know how to use SSDs on Final Cut, that's simple as well. Once you open up a, a project, you wanna to go to your modified storage settings. Same so right here. Uh, so this is where all my footage go to. And I, I do highly recommend this just so your program can run way smoother. The less space there is on this program, the less choppy it is, the, most, the less laggy it is as well. All my media goes to my Final Cut Pro SSD, which is this beautiful thing right here. And that's how you use SSDs in Final Cut. So just modify your storage settings and you can choose what hard drives you want to choose from. So that's how you use your SSDs in Final Cut and you can also use your external hard drive as well. It's not just for SSDs, you can also use your external hard drive. But as you know, SSDs do run faster. All right guys, well, I know this was a short video. It really wasn't any effects in this one, but I feel like this is something that's really important for you know every single creator so you can bring that work with you anywhere. And you can always have it with you and not wait when you get back home. That's how you can save your timeline, your footage, your projects, and as well, I want your programs to run faster. So I'll also show you how to use SSD. Uh, hopefully you learned something. I'm going to be coming out with those bangers back to back. Believe me.